Hello everyone. In this set of questions numbered 31 to 40, we shall test your knowledge about some general information related to the Jumbo Tiger Prone or Pineus Monodon. Number 31. The male genital organ of Pineus Monodon and other pinnate shrimp is called A. Antennal scale B. Telson C. Abdomen and D. Pitasma Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Antennal scale B. Telson C. Abdomen and D. Pitasma Can you now identify the answer? If not, here's another hint. This is situated between the first pleopods and the appendix masculine on the exopods of the second pleopods. If your answer is D or pitasma, you're correct. Pitasma is the male genital organ of Pineus monodon and other pineal shrimps. Number 32. The female genital organ of Pineus monodon and other pineal shrimps is called antennule B, antenna, C, silicon, and D, pleopods. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A, antennule, B, antenna, C, silicon, and D, pleopods. Can you now guess the answer? If not, here's another hint. This organ is found between the fourth and fifth pereopods. If your answer is C or thelicum, you're correct. Thelicum is the female genital organ of Pineus monodon and other pineal shrimps. Number 33. This is called the swimming organ of Pineus monodon. A. Telson, B. Europod, C. Pleopods, and D. Hepatic spine. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Telson, B. Europod, C. Pleopods, and D. Hepatic spine. Can you now guess the answer? If not, here's another hint. The swimming organs are short appendages attached below the abdomen. If your answer is C or pleopods, you're correct. Pleopods are also called swimming organs. 34. This organ is also called walking legs. A. Rostrum B. Third maxillipid C. Carapace and D. Pereopods can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Rostrum B. Maxillipid C. Carapace and D. Pereopods Can you now guess the answer? If not, here's another hint. The walking legs are five pairs of segmented appendages attached to the ventral part of the carapace. If your answer is D or pereopods, you're correct. Pereopods are also called walking legs. 35. Pineus monodon has blank number of abdominal segments. A. 5 B. 3 C. 4 and D. 6 Can you guess the answer? If not, here is the picture. Can you identify the abdomen? and count the number of abdominal segments? If not, here's another hint. The abdomen is labeled on this drawing. If your answer is 6, you're correct. Peneus monodon has 6 abdominal segments. Number 36. Which of the following is not true about wild Peneus monodon? A. Maximum fecundity is lesser than 100,000 eggs. They are found at depths from 0 to 110 meters. C. Juveniles inhabit the estuarine while the adults are marine. D. They live in brackets 
estuarine and marine environments? Can you guess the answer? The incorrect statement is A because wild penes monodon can have a maximum of more than 800,000 eggs. Some report even said that penes monodon could lay up to 1 million eggs. Number 37. Which of the following is not true about Peneus monodon? A. Males grow larger than females. B. They are relatively urethermal and urehaline. C. Female may live for a longer period than the male. And D. Mating and spawning generally takes place at night. Can you guess the answer? The incorrect statement is A, because males do not grow larger than females. The females are the ones that grow larger than the males. Number 38. Which of the following is not true about Penis monodon? A. They are found at water temperatures of about 18 to 34.5 degrees Celsius. B. They can tolerate a salinity range of 5 to 45 ppt. C. They prefer muddy and sandy habitats. And D. They can be commercially grown at salinities 0 to 5 ppt. The incorrect statement is D. Penes monodon cannot be grown in 0 ppt, but they can be grown commercially at salinities 1 to 5 ppt. Number 39. Which of the following is not true about Peneus monodon? A. Has an offshore planktonic larval phase of about 14 to 20 days. B. Has an estuarine benthic postlarval and juvenile phase of over 6 months. C. Has oceanic subadult phase of 5 to 6 months. And D has inshore and offshore ocean adult and spawning phase. Can you guess the answer? The incorrect statement is C. The sub-adult phase is not spent on oceanic habitats, but rather spent on coastal areas. Number 40 or the last number. Which of the following is not true about Peneus monodon? A. Eye stock ablation is carried out for male and female prone to develop mature ovaries and spawn. B. The larvae move toward the coast. C. The estuaries and mangrove swamps serve as nursery ground. And D. They move to deeper water when they become adolescent. Can you guess the answer? The incorrect statement is A. Eye stock ablation is only done for female prawns to encourage the rematuration of ovaries. That's all for now. If you have any question or suggestion, please write it down on the comment section below. If you find this useful, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this to your networks. See you soon.